It's an important victory for yourselves in the race for Champions League places. What message do you think that sends to the likes of Spurs? No, I think you know it's been a very similar season to Spurs. Um, I think if they came here and, and won, no one would be surprised. You know, they play a similar sort of style to us. Um, obviously, some people may be surprised about that result, but I'm not. You know, we've we've shown what we can do against the big teams. Um, and yeah, we deserve to be where we are. You talk about a surprise, but you have a really good record against Arsenal. Can you pinpoint what it is specifically why you seem to be so successful against the guys? Uh, I feel like we should frustrate them. Um, you know, we're on the front foot, we have a game plan, we stick to it, and you know, sometimes it will work, sometimes it may not, but yeah, we definitely frustrate them, I, for sure. And you know, Emery, of course, maybe there's some inside info coming from him in that sense, or? Um, yeah, he, you know, we have a lot of meetings. Um, we had three today to drill in what we need to do, you know. Um, but everyone knows what we need to do going onto the pitch today. And um, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, we frustrated them. I could see that they were getting a little bit tired. Uh, even though we played Thursday night, I felt like we had the we had the legs on them. Well, was that the most um, impressive thing today, defensively, to, to have improved and play like that against Arsenal? The back? Yeah, I think. Um, Defensively, we've been good, we've been solid all season, but there's been times where we've switched off and you only need to switch off for a couple of minutes against any team in the Premier League. And as you saw against Brentford, we conceded three goals in nine minutes. Um, you know, it's the Premier League and they can punish you. So, you know, I think, we, I think we've learned from that or we're learning from that and uh, we were really solid today. Personally, obviously, the golden boot race. I mean, how, how do you see that going into the final few games of the season? You're right, no, I'm, I, I want to score every game. I want to win it. So, yeah, I'm, I've got my eyes set on it. Is that unusual to have three meetings on the day of a game? Normally we have one the day before, but we trained a little bit later last night. So, um, you know, because of preparation from the from the Lille game, um, you know, congestive fixtures. So, yes, it's, it's for long, but um, it gets us up for it and, it and it's a very clear clear structure of what we're going to do when we go onto the pitch. Did you feel you needed that, that, that kind of performance? Because, I mean, you've yeah. been... You know, it's been one one win in five, which you know you've been so good all season. You know, it's um... yeah, definitely. I I, I put Talksport on this uh, on the way to training the other day, and I heard um, Simon Jordan saying that he's not worried about um, me or or Aston Villa causing Arsenal problems. So uh, it's nice to prove uh, you know doubt is wrong. Um, and not nice for him to eat his own words, really. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you are. I mean, you, you're back in control, you know. Three, three, three points in front. But I suppose it's there's yeah, long it's, it's, way to go. Isn't it? It, and you know, we've we've worked so hard here. We can't now uh, next weekend just throw it all away. We need to keep uh, building from this and and keep going and proving people wrong, like I said, um, and showing that we can get into the Champions League. I'm just just finally because I'm into my stats. You are sending everybody to the, the record books at the minute. You know you're one off becoming the first player since Peter Wiff, the last time Villa won the league to score 20 league goals in yep. the season. Yeah, I've had my I've had my eyes on that since I've joined the club. Um, obviously, Ben Teke scored the most goals in the season, yeah. 19. I've equaled that today. Um, five games left, so I'm looking to to uh, get to 20 goals and once you get to 20 goals I think people start to really put you in that top striker category um, and that you know that's something I'm, I'm working hard to achieve. Here's a stat for you as well I think you've scored the most goals in all competitions of any Aston Villa player in Premier League history as well so oh, that's nice isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.